this guy back here is my radiator fan bypass. So if we start it up, look, might be able to hear it. We'll turn it on. Oh, no. So you can start to hear it ramp up right now. It takes a couple seconds, and it's gonna get quite loud. So what that does is it faults the fan onto max speed. So, and it's just, I've just chosen the larger fan on the passenger side. That's the higher up to the trans cooler. We're gonna turn that off so you can hear a little better. And this will also show you. Turn it off there. You can hear as soon as that is restored, the communication is restored. The fan turns down. I've been running it for about six or eight months now, and it's it's helped. It prolongs how fast that clutch over temp warning sets on the cluster, but it's not a it's not a guaranteed to a save all. So basically, this relay is wired normally closed. So it's teed into it's all covered up, but it's teed into the radiator fan control module. So there's one on each fan and there's a signal wire coming from the ECU to that fan control, and that dictates what the fan does. Built into the fan, if it loses communication with the ECU, the fan faults to max speed. So all this is doing is this is teed into that communication wire, and when I flick my switch, the relay opens that circuit, and then the radiator fan, now it's lost communication, give it a couple seconds, and the fan goes to max speed. I don't run this for too long. Obviously, you heard that. It's, they're, they're screaming. So it's, it's good when I'm using it, and then I just turn the switch back off. Communication is restored. Takes a couple seconds. I don't even have to do a key cycle. And the fan goes right back to what it was doing. It does set a fault in the ECU, but it has no effect on functionality. Better breakdown with the wiring diagram here. This is specifically for the 2014 Audi Q7 wiring diagram. It should transfer over to the Cayenne and Toreg, but I would recommend finding the diagram for your particular vehicle just to make sure that you're looking at the right wires. Getting into it, the J293, as you can see here, and then also here on the diagram, this is the larger fan on the passenger side. I chose him because he covers most of the transmission cooler that's on the front. I was running into over temp warnings for the transmission, shows on the cluster, and then it'll also set a fault for clutch lockup temperature too high. So in an effort to bring those temps down, I now will set it to max speed if I know I'm working it hard and trying to prolong it a little bit better. You can see J671 here, then also here. He is the smaller one on the driver's side. I did leave him alone. I haven't run into any other issues that I would need to use him, but it's it wasn't necessary for my situation. So J623 is the engine ECU. This is the wire, the communication wire coming from J623 to the fan control module. So that's your wire in the plenum box. This is the connection through the plenum box and we're going after this pin right here pin three it is a brown and gray wire in my case he was the wire that i teed into so i hope this video helps you guys keep your transmissions cooler while you're off-roading and get out there and have some fun